Shalom Bracha, sisters, brothers, how are you? Holy spirits and souls that are searching for the Creator and searching for the truth, looking to be better people, more honest and nicer to each other. I bless you and feel a lot of gratitude to the Creator to have a share with you guys, to have part with you, truth seekers around the world. For me, that's an amazing, amazing um, channel, an opportunity from heaven every time to be in touch with you guys and to see how great and, and honest and sincere you are, if it's in the comments or in the emails that we're receiving to our wonderful project. All the guys that are in touch with me through the WhatsApp numbers and um, and all social media outlets for me it's a real very powerful um tool to know and to recognize that we're not alone in this world and that there are many many people around the globe around the world from four wings of the universe that are searching for the creator and asking um, for his closeness the real truth is that my heart is full with a lot, a lot of ideas and hopes to share many of the teachings and the wisdom that been revealed to me during the years. And I will try in the next period of time to bring as many of those wonderful new things that are coming in my mind and also very um, basic and important solid foundations of the wisdom of God, of the Creator, and to try to help you and uh, offer those wonderful teachings to you. And um, there is so much to say. There are so many things that are important. I want to mention something that um, it's a small thing. But, uh, but can cheer you up in certain moments. It's written in the Gemara, in the Talmud, that when a person is sneezing while praying, so it's a sign from heaven that like that his body now felt a certain relief, like you feel after sneezing, also you will be relieved from heaven, means that your prayer will be accepted and answered. That's a sign. If you find yourself standing or in your Tfilat um, when you're praying the prayer that is written in the Sidurim, or that you are in the middle of your individual prayer, or even blessing Birkat Amazon, the blessing for the food, and during that request of that prayer, you sneeze. So remember, that's a sign for you from heaven that your prayer is accepted, that like that they helped you um, and that your body now feels relieved after sneezing. Also, spiritually, your prayer will be answered. There are many, many hints like those that the person can find in life that if you pay attention to them, they can indicate you to the right direction. They can guide you. They can hint you to grab the wagon in the right way how to understand the Creator in better ways. Today I had a phone conversation with a woman that she is very, very sick. And um, she told me that she, that she is very scared because she is really sick and she feels that she needs not to disappoint her family and she don't want her husband and her child to feel that she's weak. So for them, she needs to be the strongest one ever, more strong than, stronger than anyone else in the world. And, uh, and then she said, I feel that it's, I think that it's a test. They're testing us. And she was talking about faith. She was talking about the, the, the court in heaven or something like that. And I told her, you know, like, even though that I 
also believe in the Creator, and even though that I also have faith that everything that happens with us is happening for a reason and there is a purpose for it, to look at it as a test, this is something that I'm finding it very, very hard to accept, and I'm not accepting it. I'm not accepting it on myself when I'm going through difficulties and challenges. I'm not accepting them as tests. I don't think that the Creator is testing me. And even though that there are moments that the Creator is testing the person, I don't think that those moments, um, I don't think that hard times in a period time of a life of a person um, will be those kind of tests. I think that the Creator is checking to see where your heart is in um, all kinds of situations to see if you desire the truth or not, if you are open to good things or not, or also to attempt you on certain tests, but not in something that will crush and break um, the foundation, the stability um, of, a, of a life of a person. And I told her that, I told her that I don't think that the Creator is testing us it's not like we are uh, tests animals in a lab um, mice that uh, that are uh, under the hand of of a certain science science um, and uh, and and he will do whatever he wants with with his mice it's um, this is not the way that the creator supervise on the world I cannot accept something like that and she said to me, but that's what people say. People say that it is a test. I told her, and that's my thought, that there is no way in the world that the Creator, that we believe that He is the Father of mercy, that He is the source of good, He will take us into such hard tests without even notifying us, without even letting us know about it, without even making us aware to the fact that we are in a test without explaining to us okay now it's time of a test whatever just to force on a person such a harsh test it's it's impossible from my point of view to to think that the creator himself will do something like that to a person so i am much more able to think and to accept that a certain situation, a certain fear, a certain pain is something that is needed in a way and to a person after the fact and that maybe a person had to go through this challenge or this kind of suffer because he needs to atone, he needs to cleanse, he needs to be purified from something, he needs to go through a certain path, a challenge, a difficulty, something that will peel a certain husk or a covering from him or something that will help him to recover from something else or to realize something very, very deep. But to call it a test, this is something that I don't feel, I don't feel relate to at all. And again, it might be that the Creator is, is testing a person, that the Creator is waking up a person to think about something that I'm not aware of. I'm not saying that my opinion is the only way and that my path and my explanation is, is uh, covering and, 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 and completing every answer, every question you will ever have in your life. Um, just in my stage in life, in my place, I don't feel that the hardest moments that we're going through are considered as tests in the eyes of the Creator. I cannot believe that someone from heaven will test me and will throw me into such difficulties and 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 challenges to check my abilities or my power or what will I choose. 
I think more that the Creator is with me and that the Creator, He is attached to me through my soul and there are certain um, ways that I must walk in and there are some adventures that a person must go through and the Creator is with you over them and if I will be honest and if I will be truthful I will find ways to attach myself to the light of my soul, through the light of my soul, through an inner channel to the Creator. And then I will recognize that He was always there with me and never left me. And for sure that He is not sitting over there above the court of heaven and judging everyone and and criticizing and blaming and and uh, and decreeing on on every person the right punishment or the right test or the or the right payment that he needs to uh, that's not the truth that's not him that's how fear dressed itself into our fears and built and created a certain structure of false faith in our minds to tell us that the creator is the judgments and that he is the punisher and that he decrees death on people and that he is bringing all the constrictions and all the difficulties to a life of a person and as a test or whatever you're being tested we're being tested those negative way of thinking are not um, are not at all representing the truth of the Creator. They themselves are bringing darkness down to the world and more fears and it creates a lack of understanding of who the Creator really is and how close we are to Him and how great is our true potential to bring complete redemption down to earth, to this world and to make big changes around the world. We're not tuned enough to our inner voice to recognize the real mission of our souls yet, but with time and with honest conversation with the Creator, we can reach the depths of the qualities of our soul, souls, and we can understand exactly who we are and what our mission is. So for that I suggest for every person to have and to run an honest conversation with himself, a daily conversation, asking yourself, hi, how are you? What's going on? Call yourself brother, call yourself yourself, call yourself in your name, call yourself wake up yourself your true self speak to yourself and ask hi how are you what's going on be your own friend speak with yourself ask yourself okay look it is stressful yes it is bothering you yes you don't know what to do but let's talk let's think why are you doing it there is a purpose for it there is a reason right you are continuing you want to succeed okay so for what Try to bring out the good reasons, the positive, um, um, the, the, the things that will give you power to continue and to push the wagon to your own success and to your true happiness and to your completion. Make sure that you're not giving up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams, on your hopes. And only like that we can win. Because if my redemption will take place and you are into other things, so my redemption won't redeem you. And if you will be redeemed, then you'll find amazing things in your life. And like I'm going through other things, so I won't be happy as well. We need a complete redemption. So a complete redemption means redemption to all trees, to all flowers, to all birds, to all bugs, to all animals, to to all human beings, to all nations, to all the lands, to all the houses. 
that every room will be clean and every wall will be straight and nice and and beautiful and every carpet will be clean and every car will run with no gas and that every kitchen will be full of 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 delicious f- kinds of foods and that every refrigerator will be will, like will be full every every table will be set for for a feast for for to dine and 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 everyone will come to all the meals and and that everyone will hold hands together and sing together everyone in all the languages in all the villages in all the cities in all the towns in all the countries in all the 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 cabins in all the apartments in all the the houses the mansions in in all the basements everyone will find their place and will have a place to eat and to sing and to feel welcomed and 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 invited and called and wanted and loved and hugged and embraced and 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 honored and that's a complete redemption so you must not give up on your dreams for them to come true you understand because we need you in that great picture we need you to keep on dreaming on that guitar and on that jeep and on that mountain top and on that new camera that you're dreaming on and on that amazing movie that is about to come on screens if that's your dream you need to dream on that you need to hope for that if it's that fantastic book that you haven't read you haven't put your hand on it yet if it's that amazing city of Jerusalem that you haven't seen yet with your physical eyes and you want to put your feet on it and to kiss the ground if it's the mountain of olives if it's the house of Hashem keep on bring the day help us to make it happen and it will because if together we're not going to drop the wagon we're going to push it up the hill and going to push it up the hill till the time that it will be stable enough to carry us all as of now we need to carry it we need to push it up the hill and to stabilize it over there to stand and then when it will stand in the right place we need to call everyone to hop on to jump on to the wagon until there will be no one left behind no one not even one not even me don't give up on me when you'll be all on that wagon don't forget me and then we will all be there together and then the road itself will take us to the most beautiful place on earth to the mountain of God, to the house of prayer that will be called the house of prayer to all nations and everyone will come to bow to him and to call him in his name and we will all be healthy and wealthy and strong and powerful and great things will take place. So don't give up and don't back off and be strong and may the blessing of heaven open gates for all of us always to shine and to be bright and positive and may all our prayers be accepted and answered in no time amen thank you the world is not exist because olam milchon elem the world is just blocking the light of truth the world called alma de shikra world of light is just a fake we're just inside of an illusion It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion.